Hi, this is Kathy Michael. I'm the Communication and Legal Studies Librarian at the Ithaca College Library. I'm going to show you how to search LexisNexis. You go up to the database list, go to the letter L, go to LexisNexis Academic. Wait a minute as the screen loads. You may have to authenticate it by putting in your NetPass username and password if you haven't. I don't use this for a screen very often. There's not as much content in there. So I tend to go up to the search by content type and all news. Then I go to the advanced options, which is in yet another drop down. And I may change the source type from newspapers to all news. If you're not sure what's in there, click on the source information button. And you can browse through the different titles. You can also change a region if you like. At this point, you can look at the segments and this kind of refines your search and the one that I use most often is the headline and lead paragraph H lead. In some browsers it'll pop in H lead into the search box automatically. I'm in Chrome so I have to type it out. And then I'm going to enter in my search terms. Sochi and Byron and, and I truncated the word environment with the exclamation point that will give me environment and environmental. I come down, click apply, and then you see my source information is there and my search terms. Hit search, and you'll get your search results. You can look at your search results in different ways. You can look at an expanded list view to give you a search term. Or you can go into the article level and look at your keywords in the context of your article. And then you can browse through them that way. And if you see something of interest, you can switch back to the full document. I'm going to go back to the list view. And you, it should be sorted newest to the oldest, which for news usually is the way you want to. Another way you can filter down is the left-hand column. You can see the spread of different sources by category. There's 218 newspapers, and if I could click the plus there, I can see different newspaper titles. And then it has in parentheses the number of articles from that paper for this particular search. And I'll go to the London Times, and you can find an article such as for anti-soci activist over a spray-painted fence. You have your byline, you have the section of the newspaper, so it's in the news section, page 34, and the length of the article. Again, you want to check that article, print it, email it to yourself, you can email it in different formats. You can create a persistent link by right-clicking, copying the link address, you can even try uploading it to Dropbox. So that's a little bit about a general search for news content. Another file you might want to search are the broadcast transcripts. So once the screen loads, we'll go back to the search by content type, broadcast transcripts, back to advanced options, but I have different sources here now. I'm going to leave it at all transcripts, and I'm not going to set the date on this one. I want to use a particular search technique called at least and you can put any number after the word at least. I'm going to try five and then I'm going to put my search terms. This is telling the computer that I want each one of these search terms to appear at least five times in the transcript. I hit apply, I hit search, and there's some articles. I was here earlier, so this one from NPR was already checked by me, and it sort of remembered that. And here we have a show called Here and Now on NPR, and your anchors and the links. And there's a transcript. Again, be sure to email it to yourself if you want to keep it. There's a final way I want to show you to search, and you could do a source directory browse. You can go to countries. I want to hit the letter R, get each of the R's, and then choose Russia. 
You can see all the different files that you can search. I'm going to go to news and newspapers. And each file will have different information in it. At this point, you can check whatever you see. You can check all of them, which takes a little time, or you could just check a few. And again, click that information button if you want to find out more about how often it's uploaded and what the current, how current it is. Then you click the OK Continue button. And now you're just searching those files. I'll keep this one simple by just doing Sochi and Olympics and environment. So we get a different group of information. So just the lesson is, is that there's different areas in LexisNexis and depending on what you're searching you're going to find different results. That's the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Click on the Ask a Librarian button. Click on my name and shoot me an email. Thank you.